Hello lovelies and welcome to my post for today. So I decided to do something a bit different. I'm playing with neons today. Now I've only just recently started playing with neons. I've done one other layout and that is where I made these neon sprays. So basically all I did is I got a mini mister, put some neon paint in it and mixed with a bit of water and then I had my very own neon spray spritzy thing. So that was pretty cool. So I've decided to use that just to, to start my background. Now I knew I wanted to just go full on mixed media, make a huge painting mess on this background and then I was going to turn it into some project life cards and you'll see at the end of the video how I manage that. So basically I'm starting with a 12 by 12 piece of plain white cardstock and then I've spritzed my my homemade neon sprays and then I'm going in with the same colors and I'm just putting down a whole bunch of paint. Now this is just basically making a 12 by 12 mixed media piece and then chopping it up. Oh, this is my favorite part. This made a huge mess, but I love this. So I had leftover paint in my palette. So I picked it up with a paintbrush and threw it and splattered it on my page. Unfortunately, this did mean I had to leave this to dry overnight. I am the most impatient person on earth, but I knew if I had have attempted to do anything on top of that, it would have just totally ruined my splatters and I wouldn't have been very unhappy. So I did walk away and leave it overnight. And now I'm coming in um, with some of my scrap effects stamps and stencils. So I didn't want to bring any dark colors into this. I didn't want to bring in any black. I wanted the fluoros to really stand out because I had the idea of using black and white photos on it. So what I did is I wanted to bring in more white. So I'm using white gesso with some of my stencils and some of my stamps. I've also gone in with a few other stamps and stencils um, with some pink and yellow of the fluoros as well. Only downside is with neon paints, neon fluoro, yes, I swap between the two, but they're the same thing. The only downside with um, fluoro or neon paints is they're translucent so stamping with them on top of something you're not going to get a very good image so you'll see i tried to fill in some of the white spaces when i stamped with um, the neon paints like here with the pink but for the most part i just went in with white gesso now i just wanted to bring in um, some more of that white because it really pops off these neons and that was what i really really wanted i i did contemplate bringing in some black but I just felt it would have dulled the whole thing down. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Well, you'll see at the end, I bring in the black um, when I put my photos on and my stamping um, of my numbers. So this is going to be my 2022 title page for my Project Life album. Um, I do a Project Life, I do a few Project Life albums actually every year. I never get caught up. No, no, I never finish, but I do a title page every year. And with my title page, I put in a picture of all of us, what we look like at the beginning of the year and then yeah I usually put the year down as well so this is me chopping it all up I went in with um, a white um, gel pen as well just to try and bring some lines in but it wasn't really working the way I hoped but anyway it was just more doodling more playing I don't know how but somehow when I chopped up the three by fours I ended up with one smaller than the others I have no clue what I did there but we make it work so these are my cards. I have chopped it up so I've got four 4x6s and four 3x4s. And now you can see how each of those pieces becomes an individual um, piece of art on its own. This is what I love about this technique. You can make an entire 12x12 12 12 piece and then chop it up into all different little pieces and it just looks really great. This is a great way of making your own Project Life cards if you make Project Life cards or even card backgrounds. But yeah, so... These are my, um, this is where my numbers are going to go. These are my four three by fours. Oh, that's a mouthful. So I have this stamp set. Uh, it's a dilution stamp set and it's just really big numbers. And I just love that. I use it for my, um, title page every year. I just love them. And recently I have found if you get a really good black ink pad, you don't need to emboss the black work or use paint because there's some fine etched lines in these I didn't want to use paint so I did use my memento black ink pad which I have recently found works really really well for stamping these are my photos these are this is us there is now five of us so hubby and I get a photo together and then the children get their own and I really wanted um, a really crisp black and white photo because I really wanted the contrast between all that fluoro in the background and the um, photos on top. 
So then I wanted to stick with the black and white to embellish and I didn't really want to embellish a lot because I do love this whole mixed media background that I got going on and I really wanted it to stand out. So I have um, some little printable labels that, I, that I've that i done in the past. I've got like a whole container full of printables that I print and cut out. And I have a black and white stash. So I pulled them out and I'm just using them as little labels on each of the photos. So I'm just gonna stick them down with um, uh, double-sided tape and then basically all I'm gonna do is write um, our names and ages and yeah I felt that was a good way to uh, introduce you know us I guess at the beginning of the year especially because the kids are just growing so fast especially Ruby like she's seven months old at the beginning of next year's album she's gonna be almost two and she's gonna have changed a lot so I just really like doing this technique and doing this as a as a title page every year so at the beginning of the album I can see how much the children have changed so as you see I'm just writing in their names their ages and just a little tidbit about them so Cooper, uh, Cooper is a Lego master Will is a soccer legend and mum and dad still in love at 35 so yeah that was my little <clears throat> just a little tidbit about each of us nothing major I just really wanted to fill in those labels so that's it for this page I hope you like how it came together I love how this turned out I really love the bright neon and the contrast with the black. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll be back real soon. Bye for now.